arguing over is what is truth. It's a big question. As a matter of fact, it's such a big question that even in Christianity, this question is often asked. A perfect example is found in the book of John, chapter 19, where Pilate, in interviewing Jesus, asks him the big question, what is truth? See, truth has at least three definitions according to philosophers. There is the coherence theory of truth, the correspondence theory of truth, and the pragmatic theory of truth. Now, uh, the, the pragmatic and the coherence theory of truth is seemingly the newer theories of truth. For example, the correspondence theory of truth can be traced back to uh, Aristotle via Plato. Uh, the idea coming out that uh, correspondence, the correspondence theory of truth is that to say that that which is true is not, is false just as much as to say that that which is, is not, is also false. In other words, if something exists, and you say it doesn't exist, that is false. And if you say that something exists that does not exist, that is false. So what is truth? To say that that which exists, exists, and to also say that that which does not exist, does not exist. That is what truth is. In other words, truth, a, truth, a true statement, corresponds with what really is present. Let's give a very practical example. There is a university in Jamaica called the University of the West Indies and it is at Mona. Now, if I said that there is a university in Jamaica called the University of West Indies and it is located in Mandeville, then that is not true because while there is a university in Jamaica called the University of West Indies, it does not have a location in Mandeville. However, the fact that it does have a location at Mona in Kingston, Jamaica, it does mean that that is a true statement. It corresponds with reality. And that is what the correspondence theory of truth puts forward. That whatever is said must correspond with reality in order for it to be true. The coherence theory of truth posits the idea that all the various beliefs and, uh, and concepts within that theory must, co must cohere with each other. There must be an interwoven link. The story must be solid. So, is a fictional story true? The world building events of the story cohere with each other. But does that make it true? These are some of the questions philosophers have asked for those who propose a coherence theory of truth. And the idea then is that many coherentists, and some of them who are theory, um, theists, actually believe that the coherency of truth is much bigger than this. That while it is good to talk about these fictional worlds that cohere with each other, the reality of the situation is that some of the names of the places themselves are fictitious and they do not cohere with other information that we have that talk about actual real worlds. But what about the young child who has no idea about that, which is partly one of the reasons why young children are often asked not to watch certain makeup stories. Why? Because children believe that whatever they are presented with, that is true. And finally, there is a pragmatic theory of truth. Now, if you go on to some places, some sites, you think that the pragmatic theory of truth is really one of the shallowest definitions of truth. Anything that works, that is true. However, the pragmatic theory of truth is much deeper than this. Uh, William James proposes that the pragmatic theory of truth is, states that that is true which 
after much testing would be accepted as true. In other words, pragmatism or pragmatic theory of truth says that whatever we believe to, true, to be true must be able to withstand tests. In a, in a, in a sense, the pragmatic theory of truth uh, sort of brings the basis that experimentation should be able to confirm what you think is true. But the pragmatic theory of truth is above empiricism because it does not limit testing merely to scientific methods. There are other methods that can be used to test. The pragmatic theory of truth, really and truly, is a deeper analysis, as John Dewey says, of correspondence theory. So it takes a correspondence theory and looks at how you deep analyze it. The pragmatic theory of truth, to me, seems to be the most logical definition of truth. It, it tells us that, yes, truth must correspond with reality, but at the same time, we must not take it for granted that what is said to be true corresponds with reality. We should put it to the test. And I, and I challenge that it would be good for Christians and other believers to check what they believe to see if it is true. Check it, double check it. Because if we take a pragmatic approach to truth, the truth we have will not only be something we believe, but something we have evidence for.